All right, what are we cooking today? Um, we're gonna cook butternut squash soup, and it's really good this time of year. Um, I made it around Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna do it now. It has apples and cinnamon and butternut squash and little onion. It's really easy to make, and it's really, really delicious. The ingredients are butternut squash cubed. I'll chop up some apples, and I've already chopped up some onion. Those are the three key ingredients. So all you do is get a peeler or a knife, and you just peel the whole thing like that. Just like peeling an apple or a cucumber or carrot, it's the same thing. You want to just get all the skin off. All right. So what I do is I, you know, you got to hold it firmly. Just be careful because this is not easy. You got to hold it tight. Just trim it off. I cut it in half. See how hard? Sometimes? Okay. And then I cut it like this. Okay, so this is half, this is half. Now this one's the one with the seeds, but I cut it again. See, if you put it down flat, then it'll hold it a little bit. Just be careful. Okay, so then I cut it in quarters, and then I'm just going to take the seeds out with the spoon. Okay, so you lay, lay it flat, slide down, and then I'm just going to cut it in strips. Just be careful again. Cut it like this, down like that, and then I just cube it because I'm going to blend it all after, but you want a kind of a uniform size so they all cook this, uh, evenly. Okay, so I, this recipe I'm making for a family of four that will have, you know, some leftovers and stuff. So I doubled the recipe. So this is uh, five pounds of butternut squash. But if they wanted to make it for just a couple people? If you make it for a couple, I just cut it in half. Yeah. I put two and a half pounds, like a one big one. Two and a half pounds of butternut. So the family size recipe of this soup calls for what? Five pounds. Okay. Okay, so the recipe calls for two medium apples peeled and cored. I'm just going to do three because this one looks a little bit small to me. So peeled, and then all you do is cut it like that. I cut it around the core. Some people do it differently. And then you're just gonna, you're just gonna cut it up. That's it. Because remember, we're gonna blend everything so it doesn't matter that it doesn't look like pretty. As long as it's peeled and cored. Okay, so this is easy now. I cut everything up. So the next thing I'm going to do is put about a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm going to saute the onions and the apples until they're tender. I'm going to add a little, a pinch of salt pepper and then a little bit more later. Just a pinch. So I'm going to just um, saute, you know, till the onions get a little soft. So half a minute more. It's done. Just leave it alone for a minute. The onions have been cooked down with the apples. I'm going to add the butternut squash. Okay. Mix it in a little bit. Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of curry powder. I'm sorry, two tablespoons because I doubled it. Okay. And then I use veggie broth. This is four cups. I'm going to use eight cups. 
So the recipe calls for eight cups. This one I doubled, so yeah, yeah. eight cups. So I'm just going to add another pinch of salt, a little bit more pepper, mix that up. Okay, the very last thing we do, we stick a cinnamon stick in it. We put a cinnamon stick, just like that. Okay, so cinnamon stick's in, I'm going to bring it to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, I'm going to bring it all the way down to simmer. I don't want it to sit there and boil and boil. Just bring the water up, the heat, and then you bring it to a simmer and let it simmer for about 25 minutes until everything's soft and everything's starting to kind of break down. It just started boiling, so now I turned it all the way down to simmer. See, I don't want it to keep, you know, it just started boiling, so I turned it down to simmer and then that's it. Okay, so it's been simmering for 25, 30 minutes. See, I just stick a knife in here and it's all cooked through, it's all tender. So then I'm going to take the cinnamon stick out. And then I'm going to blend this with just a hand blender. But if you don't have a hand blender, you can use a Cuisinart or a regular blender. But you have to be careful because you're working with uh, hot liquids. So just scoop a little bit of at a time. Put it when you close the lid on the blender. Put like a towel over so you don't get hot. It doesn't hurt you. You just blend it and put it in a, in a bowl until it's all blended. These things are really cheap. They're like thirty-five dollars. It's a Cuisinart uh, smart stick. This would be a good <laughs> Christmas present for moms. <laughs> you see how it's all just getting blended? If you put this into your regular blender, it does the same thing. You just want to scoop it a little bit at a time and watch out for the hot liquids. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? Fast. All right, so it's blended, it's all ready to go, and it's delicious, ready for the holidays. And, uh, maybe we can do more stuff when you get back. Okay. It'll be fun. That's it.